it's Courtney Slaznik with ClickItUpANotch.com and today we're going to talk about how to watermark your image in Lightroom 5. So by the end of the video you'll be able to quickly add a watermark to your images. What you're going to do is after you've in, um, edited your image and you're ready to export it, you're going to right click on the image or you can go up here to File and click Export. This box is going to show up and you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says Watermarking. Make sure that it's checked. Yours probably says simple copyright watermark. I have um, a click it up a notch preset that I've already made. What's nice is after you get your settings for your watermark, you can save it. So we're going to go in here and edit watermarks. As you can see, it's going to probably call it whatever your Lightroom 5 um, catalog is called. Mine's Courtney Slosnick. So right here in the corner, you can see I'm going to make it really big just so you can see it. I would never personally watermark an image that large. So Lightroom has two options. You can either do a text watermark or you can do a graphic. You cannot create the graphic in Lightroom though. You will need to create that somewhere else and it needs to be either a PNG or a JPEG. So I created one in Photoshop which is what has my little umbrella girl on it and I imported it. And you're going to do the same thing with the text or a graphic. So we're just going to talk about the text today. With the text, you can choose any of these fonts that you want, any fonts that are on your computer, which is nice. And you can click regular size, you can center it, you know, you can change the color. I like a white one, that is your call. I don't like a shadow on it, so I'm going to unclick that. You can kind of see the difference. It's totally a personal opinion. The opacity, I think, is way too high. I don't want it to draw people in that much, so I set mine around 50. Again, that's up to you. Size, play around. I Like I said, mine's huge right now so you can see it, but I would never actually have it that big. You can decide if you want it to be horizontal um, or vertical. You move it around. You're moving it around on the horizontal or the vertical. Okay, so let's put those back to where they were. And then this is where I choose. You can move it in one of these nine spaces. It's a little bit different than Photoshop where you can't choose anywhere in the photo to put it. You only are restricted by one of these nine places, which is fine by me. I keep mine in the lower left hand corner. I personally don't want my watermark to um, interrupt the viewer's uh, experience of looking at my picture, so I keep it in the same spot in every picture. I never move it. That's just me. You can move it every picture if you want. You can right click each individual picture so if this is the one I want, maybe I want to say Courtney Slosnick Photography, you can just edit right in here, click Save, title this, title your preset. Apparently I don't know how to spell my last name. Okay, and then press Create, and it's done. And then you can click Export. And what's nice is, like I said, if you want to export several photos at one time, you I hold down the Command key, and click on them. I'm on a Mac and then right click, go to export and again here are watermarks to choose from. So it saved that Courtney Slosnick one or I can do my click it up a notch one. It's up to you. So you click on that one and then you can click export and it will put the watermark in the same place for all three images. But if you do want to move your watermark individually then you'll need to export the photos one at a time. So I hope you find that helpful. Be sure to like our YouTube channel so that you can get the latest uh, video tutorials.